What's up guys, in today's video we'll be going over the new ranked mode for this season, Volleyball. So for this game, I'm going to basically be talking about the best options for characters, the best methods, how the game works, and how you guys can dominate in it. Hope you guys enjoy, consider subscribing so you don't miss any more content. I cover free rewards, do giveaways, etc. But anyway, let's look into the video. So firstly, in this game mode, you are in a group of two. You can play with a random or you can play with a friend, it doesn't really matter. And then of course the ball will spawn in the middle as the beginning and as you go on people score points. Whoever ends up getting scored on gets the ball next. As you hit the ball, the ball will do more damage depending on where it lands at on both sides. And if the ball gets three exclamation points on it, it will disappear. So now that we got all the rules of how the game actually works, let's go into a little bit more technical things. So, I would say the best method for getting the ball to do the most damage possible is of course doing team combos. Or of course, I mean, you can spam since you do have a lot of time to work with the ball being on your side. But at the same time, that also proves a risk because if they counter like we just did right there, the damage is gonna be absolutely insane. So while team combos are good, also to have some weapons that are going to be able to be the counter the team combos or just hit the ball so you don't take an insane amount of damage i would say weapons that have really huge sigs sigs that end up reversing so a sig that can either throw forward or throw backward good with a few of those in the game i'm using one of the characters right now with what called side sig or the active input input can throw forward or can throw backwards which will become really clutch in the game mode like this or weapons with really big hitboxes things like spear and air guitars in there like weapons that basically you know can cover a good amount of space in a short amount of time without having to do a crazy move i think that's when light attacks pretty much because you need to cover a decent amount of range of the field so that the ball does not land and do damage to you because of this we have a decent amount of options to honestly work with. The only thing I would not recommend playing will probably end up being Great Sword because of how it's aerial nature and Lance. Because of how the aerial nature of those weapons it basically can't really support this game unless you're like extremely accurate. Same thing with Bow. So yeah, basically anything besides those three weapons I will honestly recommend using. Scythe is going to be very good because of the reversal of the Nair which I abuse a lot in this game. But as I finished this game, I honestly, I started to play Mirage because I feel like Mirage, for, specifically for me, is a better character. The fact that you have not honestly the best signatures, there's way better signatures that you can use in this game mode. She does not use the things I'm talking about with like the reversals or anything. But she does have Scythe that's very good at reversing and doing some good counterplay and Spear for covering a lot of range. So I just decided I want to play her. Something else, by the way, if you drop your weapon like you see right here, you do not get another weapon for a while. So, of course, I do not recommend doing item throws unless it's like you have to. Because, like I said, you do not get items back for a lot of time in this game. And losing because you threw away your item is going to be extremely disheartening. Let's go over the rewards you get. So, of course, it's basically like every other ranked fun game on type we've had so far. You know, you get to go, you get your title, and you get your 10 wins, you get your title. And then you have, if you get diamond, you get a title, and if you get 500 wins, you also get a title. Remember, if you get diamond in this game mode, it does not count towards an actual diamond type reward, so you don't get a diamond ranked board if you're playing this game mode. You also will receive glory between those things for like getting plat and silver and certain ones between 10 and 500. And that's pretty much it, guys. If any crazy tech or any advanced things come out for this game mode, I'll recover it. But I just want to go over basically a guide to get you guys started on this game mode and everything you need to know. Remember to subscribe to never miss any Brahala content. And until next time, guys, peace.